have the secrets so what is yours that's the crux of kenas jasawala's debutant novel coffee days champagne nights and other secrets it is a dark fiction with exciting twists and turns based on the complexities of the human mind woman oriented though there are some strong male characters too seven short stories all different but linked by a common theme that of keeping secrets says the author published by crossword bookstores the book was launched by none other than javed akhtar and what did javed sahab have to say about writing skills and one secret that he shared with the audience was simply amazing let's hear the man out he shared a secret both of us are mortally scared of dogs <laughs> <laughs> and since this is one thing that is common between us except for writing uh, so writing and dogs two things are common we love writing hate dogs <laughs> i must tell you a little story which i have never told anybody as a matter of fact i told my immediate staff who were the eye witness of this incident that never to mention it because it's quite embarrassing <laughs> i have always been very scared of dogs and one day i used to live at uh, bandstand that time uh by the sea uh so i thought that why i'm so scared of dogs because i never had a dog if i'll have dogs and i'll be the master of those dogs obviously i'll get over the fear so thinking that i bought two a male and a female dog doberman and i named them boni and clyde <laughs> and uh, made a big kennel for them and was a proud owner of these two dogs gradually you know dogs grow up so uh, these dogs started growing and after a little while i got scared of them so when i would come to my own house at the gate i'll ask the gorkha chain kar do unko kutto ko kenas to spoke about how she gets down to writing despite her busy schedule as an air hostess and the best thing about the books will be that she will publish her books in braille too and the fine example was tanya balsara who graced the occasion too as kenas feels the need to write books for slightly disabled people too i like uh, writing when i'm flying and uh, <laughs> when i'm writing i'm actually flying because um, uh, my head is usually in the clouds that's why the imagination is always soaring and when i come uh, come down and i actually pen my pen my words i sometimes don't believe what i've written uh, that's another secret sometimes i look back i don't know if it happens to other writers but when i look back i have uh, and on myself and i say have i really written this i don't remember writing this at all so maybe between the jet lags and the uh, and the combats of uh, you know sleep deprivation i have penned this book and so i can say that uh, i equally equally enjoy both absolutely and totally i do feel that uh, there are lots of textbooks and manuals available for uh, the uh, for them but there's nothing like you know novels and books of fiction and i don't know why they should depend on someone else to read to them why can't they read an enjoyable book on their own and Absolutely. that's exactly why i thought of this idea and i said whenever i write a book and all my future books i'm going to be publishing it in braille as well as now which i've learned they have an e format which is much more easier to understand so which i will convert this into an e format and of course all my future books as well the launch was special and for all of you who want to become a writer here's a tip from javed akhtar the legend himself the first thing you have to do and not for a day but for a very long time if you want to be a writer read there has to be a lot of intake gradually you develop a relationship with language i think people who can write a letter home they think they are writers it's not true my writing is a job in itself it's an expertise in itself which is generally not appreciated to an extent that it should be gradually when you read the masters and you learn how they have used words how they have made a sentence how they have expressed things how they have not said something but made you reach that point where you will understand it and so on then gradually you develop skill for writing by the learning is by reading you know words are not just words words are not only what they mean in the dictionary words are like people we are sitting here somebody enters 
The first thing that we notice is the physical appearance of the person. The second thing when we are introduced, what is the vocation of the person? This person is a doctor or an engineer or a businessman or an air hostess or a pilot or a cricket player, whoever. Then you sit down and talk to that person. And gradually you decide, slot the person, that he or she is this kind of a person. You find different associations. Oh, you are from that college. My brother was in that college. Oh, you know him and so on. Then you develop more relationship and uh, more connection with the person. Same way. When you hear a word, the first thing that strikes you is the sound of the word, phonetics. The phonetics of the word is the physical appearance of the word. The second thing is the meaning, which is in the dictionary. That is the vocation of the word. This word is deputed to carry this meaning. But that is not all. In Sakati it is believed that an average word makes at least 50 references in your brain. Now this word will also create 50 references. A good writer would know that in average mind what kind of references will be evoked. Because in subconscious, what will you remember when you will think of this word? What references will come to your mind? Only then he or she will be able to create the right atmosphere in the mind of the reader or the listener. But this sensibility doesn't come on a platter. You can't go and buy it from a shop that you learn and develop this technique or this understanding of language by reading masters, by reading classics. But at the same time, I don't recommend that anybody, particularly a young person, should read only classics. That can make you dry and too serious and dull. At the same time, you should have the variety of light literature, humor, detective novels, Mills and Bones, all kind of books you should read. And after that, don't be in a hurry to become a writer. Keep reading. And one day when you will be full inside, you will have the feeling that I am ready to write now. Only then you write. And then you will write well. <laughs>